In this hour you are going to listen to one more message for mercy and love for humanity and the Church of Christ, this message is called the condition of my church, for in this encounter the Lord talked to me on the condition of his church, I want to say only word that has been transferred in my heart, and that word is God is real, on Wednesday June 13th of this year 2018 at 10 p.m. at night we were at my house, me and the brothers who gather with us. While we were gathered at that moment I started to feel a little bad, I felt that something was missing from my breath, and at that moment I told them to pray for me, while they prayed for me, I'm not going to tell you that my spirit came out, no, but I fell asleep, and I don't know if in the body or outside the body but I was able to contemplate something beautiful and precious, God is so beautiful so good and so merciful, at that moment I no longer felt my strength. I no longer was aware of my flesh nature and this meat and shell that we have. The last words that I said to the brethren whether is an angel here, I could feel something precious, celestial and gentle, the only thing I could say was an angel of God was here, and this thing began to get closer, I raised my gaze to the skies and I see that a cloud of glory and light covered the angel and the rain did not touch him. The angel I observe had both his arms extended. His eyes were green and also aqua blue, he had golden hair up to his shoulders, he had a belt on his hip, I remember that at that moment he began to approach and I noticed that he had golden wings, that was moving when he began to speak and he told me, do you know who I am, I smile and told him I know who you are, you are Gabriel, he said I am the Archangel Gabriel, in this hour I have come for you because there is a message that my father wants to deliver to you. Next to Gabriel came another angel and I knew who that angel was, for he is always by my side and guards me, the Lord has placed him by my side and his name is Amir, I remember that Gabriel took me by the hand, we went to heaven, we arrived to such a beautiful place, where I was able to contemplate thousands of vessels placed in some stands, there were many vessels about a meter in diameter, size, stature, wide vessels, the angel told me, observe what your eyes will be seeing, I saw an angel that took a pot in her hands and threw it into the void and that pot broke, and I said why are you doing that, he told me, I want you to observe because, the message I am going to deliver to you is the condition of my father's church in these times, he told me, observe carefully, then I look at these vessels, I saw that they were supposed to pass through the fire, I observed thousands more vessels on the other stand, guarded by the angel with delicacy, I could see a large furnace of fire, I saw how the angel Gabriel puts his hand in that furnace and he takes out vessel, to my surprise these vessels were burned, and damaged, I asked why were these vessels burned, he said servant, it's because they couldn't pass the test of fire, they fail the test of cleansing and purification by fire of the furnace, it is necessary that they go through the process of purification and cleansing in the furnace of fire because they had failed, these vessels are no longer useful, I see that Gabriel threw them to the ground and these vessel broke to pieces because they were of no use, many are the believer that are failing in the test of life and can't become God instrument until they pass the test and become purified, in this you greatly rejoice though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in various trials so that the proven character of your faith more precious than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire may result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ, I observe again how he took more vessels to put them in the furnace, at that moment I observe very large hands making the shape of a circle, the angel went and took vessels that the Lord had formed and put them in the furnace of fire in order to test them, but when these vessels were brought out of the furnace, to my surprise they were gold and pure, that vessel shone and exuded such a beautiful light, the angel told me, this vessel is from that church, they have passed the test and they have been through the fire and are ready to be used already as instrument, these vessels are servants that had become ready to be used now, they were put on, on top of the stand, that vessel lit up and attracted attention but other pots were put down, your faith will be like gold that has been tested in a fire, and these trials will prove that your faith is worth much more than gold that can be destroyed, brother what condition are you in now, are you on the top of the stand or the lower part, are you a shining vessel, is your vessel beautiful, at that moment the angel said, 
Servant this is the condition of my father's church today, the Lord said to the angel, Tell my son that it is necessary for him to tell my people that it is necessary for them to cleanse themselves from inside and out, because I come for a holy people without stain and without wrinkles, son, go and tell my people that it is necessary to live in holiness for me. At that moment I observe the archangel Gabriel. He had a scroll in his hand. He spreads out that parchment and I begin to see many letters, he told me. I am going to read it to you because it is a letter sent by my father for you, this is what was written, my church is sleeping today, I'm talking about the entire church worldwide, universally my church is sleeping, my people have entered into a conformism, my people have entered into a spiritual laziness, but son I want you to tell my church that it is time to wake up, that it is time to fill your pot and your oil lamp, for behold very soon there will be heard a cry that will say, behold, I am going out to receive the bridegroom, and those who are ready will go with me, holy is the Lord, that it was all he told me, it was something so short that it lasted an hour and a half, I remember that at that moment I opened my eyes, when I open my eyes, on the 14th of June the Lord speaks to me again at 8 in the morning, that morning we began to pray in the room and seek the presence of the Lord, while we were praying at that moment I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit that told me, behold, I have not finished telling you about the condition of my church, and it is necessary that I speak to you again, it was like last time when I opened my spiritual eyes I began to contemplate a light so precious and beautiful, it was moving like a resplendent sun, then a sweet, tender voice that was also a voice of authority told me, San Diego, here I am today, it is necessary again that I deliver a message to my people because I am going to show you, my people say they have me but inside their heart they are like tombs full of filth full of abomination, the Lord that was like the sun began to approach me, I began to cry at that moment when he approached me, the only thing I could see of him was that belt crossed on his chest that said I am the king of kings and lord of lords, the one who lives forever, I quickly arrived where the hand of the Lord was dealing with vessel and pot, the same place where were stands, the Lord told me, Previously I sent my angel messenger Gabriel to send a message but now I am here to tell you how my people live, we arrived again at the furnace of fire, the Lord told me, now I want you to observe how there are many pots, I saw a lot of pots shining brightly with great light, but they were not placed on the top of the stand but on the lower level, and I said Lord why are these vessels that are shining placed on the lower level, and the others that shine are placed above? I want you to listen to this Diego of what I am going to tell you, I tell him Lord these vessels are so beautiful they need to be on top of the stand, he shook his head and says no son, Diego, you still can't understand what I'm trying to tell you, many think and appear to have the fruits of my Holy Spirit on the outside, but inside are dirty, I want you to go to these vessel and observe them as they are inside, I started to see dump inside these vessel when I got closer to these shining vessels, I started to see something dirt that was inside, and the Lord raised his voice to me with authority and told me, inside, they have hate, inside they have jealousy, envy, heresy, strife, division, enmity, for inside they are full of filth like tombs, Diego I want you to tell my people, tell my church that they need to be transparent inside and out because I want holiness inside but also outside, this is the condition of many, they think to deceive man, but not me, you will never deceive me, but tell them to take care of their heart, soul and spirit, and to keep all that for me.